big galaxies uh, have supermassive black holes at their centers, including our own Milky Way galaxy. Sometimes the black holes are what we call active, that is, uh, if they are accreting material, if material is falling onto them, they actually produce, uh, can, can produce very large amounts of energies. There's all sorts of active galaxies, um, and we rank them into categories in astronomy depending on kind of what sort of uh, characteristics they have. And a particular class of those is, is what's known as the quasar or QSO. Um, and this is the, basically the most luminous uh, versions of, of these uh, accreting black holes. Well, we've known for a long time now that, that galaxies often uh, interact. Um, sometimes they will actually merge or, or coalesce basically into a single galaxy. So when you merge two galaxies together, uh, you may actually be helping to feed these black holes. It seems like this is probably a very likely process uh, in the earlier universe when merging of galaxies was much more common. We also know that there was a lot more active galaxies in the past. So naively one expects um, that we should be able to find systems that are in the process of merging. Um, it turns out they're pretty hard to find. From the survey, they have spectra and images of a lot of things. It's very low quality data, um, but it covers about a quarter of the entire sky. So you get a lot of objects. They've looked for things that looked like they could potentially be two quasars. Magellan was really important for that because it really, um, it's kind of the best you could do from the ground. So often you actually get to apply all of your computer models to something beautiful like this, and then you really feel like you're getting into the astrophysics of things. Just in some of these detailed tidal features that are around the two galaxies are very telltale signs of uh, two galaxies interacting. Um, so these tidal tails are ripped out of the, the normal galactic structure due to the uh, gravitational influence of the neighbor passing by. In a sense, we get a snapshot that is exactly what we think the observers are getting. And then what we try and do is take those snapshots, compare them to the observations, and see how well we're doing. case the, the numerical simulation verified and demonstrated that the uh, observed binary quasar system is actually two galaxies interacting and, and clearly hints that this galaxy interaction and the interactions in general are a key component of the growth of and production of quasars throughout our universe.